Hello everyone! Welcome to our Chinese New Year video. Today we're going to talk about Chinese New Year and the origins of Chinese New Year. We'll talk about the Chinese Zodiac, what happens in Hong Kong, and Chinese New Year traditions. We're also going to talk about food eaten at Chinese New Year. Okay, so let's get started. The Chinese New Year celebration is also called Lunar New Year and also celebrated as Spring Festival. It is celebrated in January or February in many countries around the world. This year, the first month of the Lunar New Year will start according to the Chinese calendar on the 12th of February, 2021. Many countries celebrate the New Year according to the Chinese calendar, and not only to our calendar, which is the Gregorian calendar, starting on the 1st of January. Lunar New Year is an important public holiday for many countries, including China, South Korea, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. And in many other countries, Chinese communities celebrate in the city's Chinatown districts. What are the origins of Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year is believed to have originated in Argarian society, from when farmers used to pray for success in the coming farming season, which is why the celebration is also known as the Spring Festival. Legend has it that a monster named Nian would come to villages once a year and eat children and livestock, and that the only way to banish Nian was with red decorations and plenty of loud noise. Fireworks and lion and dragon dancers are all some of the colourful and loud traditional displays that are seen today. This important date on the Chinese calendar has been celebrated for many centuries. During the festivities, ancestors are honoured and traditional ceremonies are held where people get together and welcome the new year with customs that shall bring good luck, good fortune, wealth, prosperity and happiness. The Spring Festival festivities for the new year take 15 days in most countries. The Chinese Zodiac While the origins of this tradition aren't certain, the Zodiac has been part of the Chinese calendar and New Year since around the Tang Dynasty, that's 618 to 907 AD. Each year has a Chinese Zodiac animal as a symbol for the year. The 12 Chinese Zodiac animals are rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. The year you are born determines what animal you are associated with. Similar to Western astrology, each animal attribution has its own personality traits and will have different levels of luck, depending on what year of the zodiac it is. The five types of each animal species are distinguished in the zodiac according to the elements. Fire, earth, metal, wood and water. The Chinese zodiac signs will be combined with five elements. There are five different specific animals, such as the fire rooster, 2017, or the earth ox, 2009, or the metal or gold tiger, 2010. For 2021, we should say 2021 is the year of the metal ox. You can see these five elements in the mall with the same name, elements in Kowloon. What happens in Hong Kong? Just prior to the new year, families and businesses will start to decorate their homes with Fai Chun. These are bright red and gold banners and are seen as lucky symbols that shall attract luck and prosperity for the year to come. On New Year's Eve, families will gather for a special reunion dinner. Traditionally, this dinner is meant to be held at the most senior family member's home, but in modern times, these dinners are often held wherever convenient, or at a restaurant. Hong Kongers spend the first two days of the New Year to see relatives. Traditionally, folks spend their first day visiting paternal relatives, and the second visiting relatives on their mother's side. 
Families will also take this time to visit temples in order to seek out blessings and luck for the coming year. Gifts are handed money or little tokens in red packets or little red envelopes as these symbolize prosperity and happiness. Married family members hand red envelopes called hangbao in Mandarin and laisi in Cantonese with money to others to show their goodwill and give blessings for the new year to the other family members. Children sometimes get oranges, sweets or coins. Traditionally, the third day of the new year used to be a day to avoid visitors, as it was generally considered bad luck to have guests or to go visiting on this day. It's a day that was typically spent burning effigies, last year's Fei Chun, and paper offerings over fires. Today, many in Hong Kong don't take note of the superstition, so other events take place on this day, like the Hong Kong Jockey Club horse races. Even though many businesses resume operations as normal after the three-day public holiday, most schools and some businesses will remain closed longer. People will continue to give out lysi and wish people Kung He Fat Choi, a congratulatory message of prosperity, and you're certain to continue to see a variety of lion dances in neighborhoods and business venues all over Hong Kong. The last day of Chinese New Year, the 15th day, is called the Lantern Festival. This year, the Lantern Festival falls on Friday, the 26th of February. It is also the first full moon of the new year, which is what signifies the end of the New Year's celebrations. Illuminating lanterns is a way of wishing a good start to the new year. Hong Kong holds beautiful lantern festivals in a few different spots during the time of Chinese New Year, with the main one in Chim Sha Choi. The lantern festival is also the equivalent of Valentine's Day in the West, so couples will often spend time together and go on dates. Lunar New Year's Wishes and Traditions in Hong Kong People wish each other good luck, happiness and wealth for the new year. The words used most in good wishes are happiness, wealth, and prosperity. In Cantonese, the wish Gong Hei Fat Choi means wishing you a prosperous new year. Dragon dancers and lion dance festivals will usher in the new year in many cities. Some families may even invite a dance troupe into their homes as well. The lion dance is said to chase away evil spirits and usher in good luck and prosperity. Firecrackers are lit as these shall bring good luck and fortune. One of the more solemn duties of the Chinese New Year celebrations is for families to drop into their local temples. Tradition holds that the first three days of the new year are the best time to visit temples and bring good luck for the year ahead. Traditionally, families pop into the temple on the mornings of the first and second days of Chinese New Year. The big day for the flower market is Chinese New Year's Eve, when the city's biggest flower market at Victoria Park will be swarming with people looking to pick up prize bouquets. The flowers are said to give good luck and are given when visiting family for the traditional New Year's Eve feast of chicken and fish. Another popular custom during Chinese New Year in Hong Kong is the Well-Wishing Festival. This event takes place in Lam Chun in the New Territories, with festivities taking place over the entire 15 days of the New Year. To partake in this custom, you just have to write a wish attached to a string with an orange on the other end. You then throw the wish and orange up into the tree. You can also release a wishing lantern at the nearby river to participate in the carnival. This custom and carnival is great fun with kids. It is believed that taking a bath with pomelo leaves on the last day of the Lunar New Year can wash off all the bad luck and bring good fortune. The night before Chinese New Year, New Year's Eve, boil pomelo leaves with water and add it to your bath water which gives a pleasant citrusy smell and turns the water into a light green color. 
Chinese New Year food. Food is an essential part of Chinese New Year. People eat auspicious food during the New Year period. For many, this means fish dishes. A fish is a symbol of good luck, wealth, and healthy life. When families get together for their New Year's dinners, trays of togetherness or candy boxes are brought out. These trays are circular and contain a lucky number of compartments within them, such as six or eight. Traditionally, these trays contain dried fruits, nuts, and seeds, but many modern ones now include sweets and chocolates. The tray of togetherness is never supposed to be empty during the new year. Other important New Year dishes include rice cake, ningu, a sweet, sticky treat that literally translates to New Year cake, and turnip cakes, lok bag go, a savory dish that is actually made from daikon, which is a Chinese radish rather than a turnip. There is also the traditional Hong Kong poon choy or basin dish. Which originated in the New Territory sometime in the 7th century. Villagers would bring meat and seafood, all to be cooked in one pot and shared with the community. The food is arranged so that the delicacies sit on top. Puin Choi can now be eaten just about anywhere in Hong Kong, from high end Michelin star restaurants to fast food. Food Wordplay. Many Cantonese dishes become New Year favourites thanks to Chinese wordplay. The name for dried oysters in Cantonese sounds like the phrase for good business, and the glutinous rice cake ningu sounds like the Chinese phrase for reaching higher skies. Finally, the sweet glutinous rice balls called tong yen remind the Cantonese of the word for reunion, thus referring. To families coming together for the holidays, they are served in a bowl of sweet syrup and usually eaten on the fifteenth day of the new year. Make sure that your plate is never empty, as this would be seen as your luck has run out. Chinese New Year customs: what not to do. Do not wash or cut your hair on the first days of the Lunar New Year. This would be seen as a sign of washing and cutting away good luck. Do not clean your house with a broom on the first day of the Lunar New Year. Cleaning is a sign of swiping away good luck. So if one has to clean something away, then it must be done after dark. Do not do laundry on Chinese New Year. Doing laundry means washing away of good luck and wealth. Don't give gifts which are black or white in color. Also, do not give clocks or watches or shoes. Watches would mean that time is running out, and shoes would mean that one could walk away from the friendship or relationship. Don't give gifts in uneven numbers. Always give gifts in pairs, such as two oranges or two coins. Don't dress in white, black, or dark blue during this time. Wear colorful clothing. Especially red, orange, and yellow colors are appreciated. Don't use negative words or talk about bad things. You want the new year to have a good start with everything happy and cheerful. Crying, fighting, and arguments are not a good start to the new year, so stick to uncontroversial topics of discussion. Don't eat congee, rice porridge, or any other poor foods. Which might set your new year off to a bad start. Don't look poor, and the fates will prevent you from actually being poor. What to do? Have a prosperous new year. Gong hei fa choi.